Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about uh, how to create a simple uh, Android application and uh, in this application we will change text we will add a text text view button and we will change the color of text text view text and button and, and text on button and background color ok so let me are going to start now we are going to start uh, uh, click on just open android studio and click start new android application project uh, you can change the name of application uh, I'm just continuing with the name with the default name that is my application. Uh, please uh, note down that uh, we have to select the least Android API version we have in, we have here because it will uh, target all the devices. You can see there by targeting API 14 and later your app uh, your app will run on approximately 100% of devices. Okay, if you select. Uh, other than this least devices can be accessible for this application ok so uh, proceed next select empty, activ empty activity you can also select other activities but uh, for the time now we ha as I said we are creating a simple application we are getting started for it so therefore we are going to select empty activity click on next uh, you can change the name of layout uh, that that will be activity underscore main dot xml and uh, java class main activity uh, but i am continue, continuing with the same because it is initial we will change it as uh, as we required in the future okay click on finish Just wait for a while here and the, uh, till the Gradle build is completed. It is downloading some Gradle files and configuring your project. So let it complete. Okay, we are waiting for it. Just close the tips and uh, wait and, uh, until these processes are completed. You can see in the uh, status bar below this Android Studio the least there are two processes running there. Uh, please wait until these processes are completed. So uh, otherwise your application will will create some wishes for you in the future when you are working ok ok guys as you can see that uh, our gradle build is completed please note down the settings I'm showing you you have to must have these things written in your Gradle build out Gradle module app especially this portion and this one otherwise your application will create will be having some issues when you use okay. So now we are going to proceed to our uh, main project activity dot xml activity main xml
please wait until this cursor disappear and your text view which is here will be visible going to appear here okay so now uh, I'm going to use relative layout so I'm going to change the name of constraint layout to relative layout these lines these are for just constraint layout and we are using relative layout so we will add things that we are required oh, ok android id and we are going to give it an id uh, text view ok we are going to create a button Content work content and uh, Android text that should be going to display it on the button. Uh, it will be quick. Yeah, you can write anything. It will be displayed on the button. Okay, now why going to give it a margin top? margin top and I'm going to give it 40 dp ok android for color uh, if we give it black ok and uh, Android color. Tax color. We're going to give it pink. Okay, now uh, we have not assigned button an ID, so we are going to assign it an ID. Okay, its ID will be click button. Okay, now we are going to get, uh, provide functionality to this control we have added. Uh, first, we have to import some classes that will be import Android dot widget dot starry. It will add all the widget controls that are button text view and other things like that. And, uh, and one another class import Android dot view dot staric it will add all the view type controls ok uh, now we are creating a private uh, button object uh, it will be click button and uh, another thing another control we have added is text view so we are creating a text view object so that these uh, we are creating these objects to access the uh, to connect with the to connect, to connect with the activity dot xml txv ok now we are binding these controls with the activity main xml uh, click button equals to we are using the class name find view by id actually we are initializing the these controls uh, or you can say objects we have created that a button and text view ok so then id will be click button you can see that it automatically shows when i type ok now another one is text view is equals to equals to text view class and find view by id r is r, r is the resource variable in your 
uh, resources folder you can see you can find it uh, in the resource folder so R is used to access the controls in your XML in your to and connect with them to your Java file okay resource dot ID dot text view you have you can see that we have write these IDs in our XML there was there is one thing I forgot to tell you about that we can also drag drop controls here but uh, I feel easy to and it is a go also good practice being a programmer to you to you type uh, your XML okay now we have uh, created the objects of these two control we have added uh, now we are going to create a click we are going to assign now uh, function action to the button set on click listeners so that when we tap on the button then it will do something okay on when on click new on click listener on click listener it all it had automatically created the on click function so when we click on the button it will change the text so to, to change the text txv dot <coughs> We are calling this object function this build in function set text. We are going to provide it a text and it will be text change. Okay, so you can see that we have already written it a text uh, on the text view that is hello world so we will see when you run it Wait until the, until your uh, Android virtual device gets on. So Apple right now or it. Maybe you will see this black this black screen for a long time. Uh, but wait for it until it becomes on. Okay. Wait a minute. There are some errors over here. Uh, let me check. Text color. Okay. Color properties are not right to assign. So we, I try to assign it a hash code, and uh, it will be. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it worked. When you see color here, it means it worked. And uh, here we are going to assign hash to over with the color code for black. Okay, let's try it again. the gradle build to complete if you, when it will complete it will, it will automatically run the app in the emulator
you can see that it is installing apk apk means android application kit it is it is a file format for uh, installing any android app android application to your android device manually Okay guys, you can see that it's the black color button and uh, the text written on it is not visible. So you can see that when I clicked on the button it, it changed its text to text change. Okay now we are going to change the color of button and text. change the background color so we are going to add a relative layout private relative layout now we have to pro give an ID to the relative layout so that we can access it in activity main java okay Android ID and ID will be RL. Uh, we can give it small R and small R and capital L. I think it will be easy. Okay, now same we have to bind it with the hexagon. RL is equals to here we have to. Find your ID R dot ID dot R Okay. Uh, as you see the average text is changed. We can also change the font size uh, TXV dot font. Text size and uh, we'll give it uh, 22 and we also give button click button and uh, to click button we are going to set margin uh -huh. set text size and uh, I'm going to set it 18 okay and uh, rl dot every time color we will get set background color and color dot uh, we are going to set it blue let's see what happens
Okay guys, it's almost complete and activity is done. You can see that uh, the text is now visible and when we click over here, it will change the text size, text background font background color. Similarly, you can give set text size and text color again. If you change the want, if you want to change the text color of the specific object, you can change it. Okay. Uh, Thank you guys for watching my video and uh, in, in future if you need any help you can ask in comments and uh, please let me know about how is my video go and uh, please sub subscribe to my channel so that you can get the latest updates from our channel. Thank you very much.